All right, guys, today we're going to be building a footwear store from scratch using Shopify. But don't worry if shoes aren't your thing. You can follow along and use these exact same steps to create any kind of store you're into. If you don't have Shopify yet, there's a link in the description where you can grab a three day free trial. And after that, it's just a dollar a month for your first three months. So with that being said, Let's get into it. So once you guys log into your Shopify account, you're going to find yourselves at the dashboard. Now, let me give you a rundown of what we're going to do. First off, we're going to add our products, then make collections, which is to categorize our products into, well, categories, right? And then I'm going to talk about how to customize your menu. And afterwards, we're going to get into editing our actual store. All right. Sound good. All right. You have no choice. Anyways, it's, it's my tutorial. Anyways. So what I want you guys to do right now is to go to products and then click on add product. So once you're here, what you do is you add your title, which is easy enough. I have something on my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it here. Now underneath, you can either write your own description or use this little generate text icon to have AI help you with it. So just input a keyword. I'll input my little title here and you can go through any of these tones to find something that works for you. Then go to generate afterwards. You just keep it or generate again, depending on whether or not you like it. And now all we have to do is transfer the photo of this image into our media. And underneath here, we have the pricing. So we're going to put the pricing for this item right there. And as for the inventory, put your stock right here. And then underneath we have the variants. So the cool thing about Shopify is that it read our little description, our title and checked out our photo and it created category metal fields. So how this helps us is that we can choose variants that it already created for us, such as black uh, footwear material and all the other things that you see here. If you want to add something custom, you can click on add another option and go to create custom option and then input it that way. You only have three options though, so make sure you make accounts. And that's pretty much all you have to do when it comes to adding products. It's very simple. So now I'm going to add the rest of my products and then we'll go to collections. Now let's head to collections and go to the top right. So our first collection is going to be called running shoes. And where we see the description, it's not exactly necessary to add it. The image is a thumbnail for this collection. And to add products to this collection, go down to browse. And all we do is look for running shoes. And then we check off these boxes, go down to add and voila, that's all you got to do. Now go down to menus and to add those collections to our menus, we click on either of these options. But for this one, we go to main menu add menu item, go to search or paste link, find our collections, and then we just subsequently add all of them to our main menu. Now, what you can also do is rearrange your menu just by grabbing these six dots and then placing your items where you want them to be. As for the footer menu, what we need to do is add policies. So you can find your policies in the same drop down menu. All you got to do is go down to settings and then head to the bottom where it says policies and fill out your policies accordingly. And then you go back and add them through the same process that we just used. OK, so now we can go ahead and start working on our site. So all we have to do is click on customize right here. But what I want you to do is right click on it and open this link in a new tab just so we can have easier access to our dashboard. So the first thing that we're going to customize here is our banner image. So for this, we click on the image itself, go to the right hand side and then transfer over your photos. So this is the one that I need. And once you're done, all you got to do is click on it and then go to done in the bottom right as such. And then from the right hand side, we go down to our contents and our height. So for our height, we're going to make this small. And then for the animation, I like to have ambient movement because it makes the photo move around a bit. And then the positioning of the content is fine. We're going to keep it in the bottom center, but you have a bunch of options to go from here. And then our container just gives a little background to the text there. Um, now, let me tell you guys about the colors. So from the right hand side, you can see the color schemes. So we have five color schemes. And if you click on edit, you can change what color palettes are within that color scheme. You can also go to the left hand side where it says theme settings and go to colors and you can just add another scheme from here, but you're not going to spend a lot of your time in this section. All right. So we changed our banner image. Now let's change our logo. So for that, we open up this menu. We go to logo and then we head back to our folder 
and here is the logo place it right there and again once we're done with that we go to the bottom and click on done now let's change the position of this logo to be in the middle once it actually loads up well, I guess we'll have to wait. All right, so once it does load up, I want you guys to click on the header and over here, you're gonna see logo position. So we're gonna place this in the top center and then the actual menu items are gonna be placed underneath that. And then you'll see at the bottom, we also have those policies that we updated. So that's not too bad. Now we also have another thing, our typography. So this is just the font for our text. So if you click on font and you select any of these system fonts that we have here, just make sure that you click on select at the bottom so that it saves your changes. And then you can also do that for the body text as well. For some reason, Shopify is having some trouble loading things in. So uh, you can also go to the body text and change that just once more. Make sure you click on select. When it comes to customizing text, all you have to do is click on the text box and then on the right hand side, input the information. And when it comes to buttons, the same idea applies. Click on it, you'll have your label. And to link a button to something, you just go to the link up here. And like we did with our menu, we can just find something on our page to link to, and then it's going to be assigned the same way. So it's very easy stuff. Now let's make our way down to the featured products. So if you guys don't want all of your items being listed on a single grid, what you can do is click on this section and go down to carousel, toggle that on, and it's going to create like a swipeable section for customers. And you'll also notice if you go to full screen that there's a white space that is taking up the left-hand side. So we can fix that by going to full width products and then you'll see how that white space is cleaned up. So if you don't wanna have that grid on your homepage, then that is your second best option. So just above the featured products, we're going to add a section. So all we do is hover like this and we're going to add a collection list. So we're going to include those collections we created. And the way we do that is by clicking on the image itself, going to the top right, select, choose the one you want, and then repeat that process. Now underneath the collections, we're gonna have a banner image and an image with text. And so first off, let's add the image banner. And then underneath here, we can also go to the left-hand side and add a section that way. And then we're gonna have the image with text right here. And we're gonna move this above the featured collection by again, dragging these six dots. So the idea is to have the image right here. And then underneath, we're going to be promoting a particular item from our store. And so what we're gonna do here is we're going to add a photo. However, we already know how to do that. So all we have to do is get rid of this container by going to the right-hand side untoggling container and then getting rid of the second button label. Actually, both of the button labels we're going to get rid of because we will not be using them. And then just as we did earlier, write your text. And that's the idea I was going for. Now underneath here, we're going to add another photo. And on the right hand side, let's just take this photo and change its height and add our text. So Nike Air Force. And then when it comes to the description, uh, we have everything in our clipboard and all we have left to do here is just to align this text in the middle with the button as well and change it here. And for the button, like I said earlier on, you go to the paste or search link option and then you search for the item you're trying to assign to this button. And this is what it looks like when you're completely done. Now, the last thing we need to do is to add colors. And the way we do that is by clicking on a section and going down to color schemes. Some might have one or two. Right here, we have color scheme one applied and I'll add color scheme two and you'll see how it's a little gray. And we're just going to repeat that process for a couple of them. So we'll go down to this. We have color scheme and container color scheme. Container color scheme is the product, the content in the middle, and then the color scheme is the outside. So we'll go with color scheme two and then we'll go to color scheme three and you'll see how there's a natural little difference there. And just repeat that process until you're done. So adding colors is very simple. Now to publish your store, you actually have to buy a plan since if you're using the trial, you're gonna see something like this and it's gonna be locked behind a password without you being able to change that. But once you do buy a plan, you'll see this option to remove the password. And once you've done that, your store is public. If you guys have any further questions for me, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. If you like the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget about that Shopify trial in the description below. And at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And until next time, make sure to take care.